Good morning, family. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. Thank you so much for joining us. We love that you guys come every day. I know I say that every day, but it's the truth. <laughs> We're so happy to be with you, and we appreciate the time you take to spend with us in this little corner of God's Vineyard. I just, I love that music. I just, sometimes I just want to be quiet and listen. We're going to have a prayer. We're going to make a prayer like they say in the South here in the U.S. And then I'm going to talk to you about some things Father's put on my heart. You ready? Father, we thank you so much for this day. Every day is such a gift. Please forgive us for the times that we have thrown our days away or wasted them and, and spoken negatively about our days. Please forgive us for that, Father. It's like you've handed us a gift and just because the gift didn't go the way we thought it would, we felt like we could say things that were inappropriate or, oh God, forgive us. We thank you, Father. You're so generous and gracious. You're kind. You are faithful and powerful, God. This is a day that you have made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, God. Be glorified in us. Father, in this time that we're going to spend together, this very short time, I ask you to draw us all into oneness in you, to be able to hear your heart, and for everyone to go away from this time strengthened and encouraged, built up in our, in our most holy faith, Father God our faith in you, confidence in you, our trust in you. We bless your name. We praise your glorious, beautiful name, God. And we lift this prayer up to you in the name of our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the living word of God. Amen. You know, you guys, it's always interesting when the Lord's been talking to me about something in particular, and he has been talking to me about this particular subject for a very, very, very long time. And it involves the body of Christ. And today it's been especially heavy on my heart. <laughs> and then I got a, a little comment from Kathy K. King on our YouTube channel. Girl, all you did was confirm what God's been saying to me for so many years. And thank you for the confirmation. You guys, before we go any farther in this, I'm gonna read a scripture to you. And this is out of the book of Joshua. It's the first chapter. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving them to the people of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you just as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous. For you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. 
being careful to do according to all the law that Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Thank you, Father. Okay, you guys. Now I'm going to tell you something else, and I know this is a this is a short video. I might be doing a, or a, a short podcast. I might be doing a message on it tomorrow because it's really building in me. And today is uh, this will be May twelfth, and actually I might do it later on today. Okay, so come back and check if I if I do. I feel like the Lord has me go in that direction. Now I'm going to share with you a dream that I had many years ago when I first came back to the Lord. And some of you have probably heard this before on a video, one of my videos. In this dream, I was flying a plane and I was not in the cockpit of the plane. I was seated on the nose of the plane. Okay, so I was outside the plane on the, on the nose of the plane and flying this plane by my thoughts. If I would think up, the plane would go up. If I would think down, the plane would go down. And if I would think sideways, it was just where, however I thought was how that plane flew. And at one point in the dream, I started thinking down and I didn't change my thoughts. I kept thinking down until I ended up landing in, an, in a concentration camp. You guys, it was really hard. I knew it was gonna be really hard to get out of that concentration camp and all around me were uh, soldiers in uniform and the fences were really high and I was really, uh, my plane was really squeezed in there. There was no, it wasn't like it was gonna be easy. There was no long runway for me to take off. It took me years to understand what Father was saying about that concentration camp. I understood that he was telling me because he said, he said it to me in essence, straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Stop messing around. Stop going from high highs to low lows mentally. Because one of the things that happens, first of all, there's no stability in that kind of flying. And that means in that kind of life. Our thoughts, what we allow to happen with our thoughts, that's critical. Because we will think a thing and if we dwell on a thing we will stay in that place or we will we're either going to change our mind and think about the things father wants us thinking about and believing or we're going to be have our thoughts taking us down into concentration camps and it took years that's what I started to say it took years before I understood and the Lord pretty much had to say to me, think about it, Vicki. A concentration camp, it's what you're concentrating on. And the enemy had me bound in that concentration camp because my thoughts were negative. <clears throat> I know we're living in very hard times. I know that people are afraid. I know that people are struggling and not sure what's going to happen. And I'm speaking to the body of Christ we must make a decision that we will only believe God for his word, that we will not fly our plane up and down and all over the place and, and get all lost and end up in concentration camps, concentrating on the wrong things. You guys, if you don't know what the book says, get in the book and read the book. Our Father God wins. It does not mean we won't go through hard things because we absolutely will. And some of us already know that because we've gone through hard things. 
but it does mean that our Father is faithful and that He will have His way. And if we are smart, we will get on His team. And when the enemy comes with thoughts to discourage and depress and cause us to be frustrated or angry or hopeless or in despair or afraid, we have to get our eyes back on God. I'm going to stop here for now. I will. I think I'm going to make a video tomorrow or yeah, on the 12th of May, and we'll go into this topic some more. God bless you guys. Choose to make this a good day because God's got it all, and He knows what He's doing. And if you belong to Him, He is able to keep you. We love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye for now.